is it? He just cares so much, it feels legit. We have a connection. I think this guy. Sheila Watko, welcome back to another core routine. Haven't made one in a few weeks, but here we are, still locked down, so still dancing. Today's dance tutorial is All You Wanna Do from Six the Musical, Love Six. I've gotten this requested quite a bit, especially from my girl Blue. She sent me a message on behalf of a Six fan community who is apparently looking for this choreography. So this video is especially dedicated to Blue and all of her friends in the Six fan community. Thank you guys for watching my tutorials and Thank you for requesting this one. It's something fun for me to learn to do as well. So today, I'm a little bit K-How inspired. As you can see, we got a lot of pink and black going on. Not as good as her, but you know, we're gonna make do with what we have. I had some old clip-in streaks from an Avril Lavigne costume from high school, from like 2006. <laughs> so, let's get started. This dance is not difficult. I'm gonna adjust this camera while I talk to you. This dance is not that difficult, but it is a little bit quick. So there's four choruses in this song. It also, I have to also laugh because this song is kind of popular on TikTok, which people use it for things that I'm like, mm, you definitely don't know this is actually kind of a devastatingly sad song about a young teenager who was 19 when she was beheaded, who was sexually abused and taken advantage of her whole life from age 13 to 19 and then beheaded, murdered. So. It's really sad, but it's my favorite song in the show, and it's a really fun song. When I first saw the show, I told my sisters and my mom, this song would play on the radio. Actually, I think most of the songs in Six would play on the radio if the lyrics were not about the Tudors and Henry VIII and being sexually abused by a man who later beheads you. There's four choruses in this song. This dance routine is used in the first three. The last one's a little different. When we get to that part, I will show you what that difference looks like. In this dance, Katherine Howard stands in the middle and the other queens stand around her in a formation of five. If you're doing it with a group, which is awesome because if there's six of you and there's six queens, hello, perfect. The two on the right side and the one in the back can all do everything to the right, which is what I'll be teaching. The two people on the other side will be dancing with everything going to the left first. A little more complex, but also you can just do it to the right too. It doesn't really matter, but if you wanna do it authentically to what they do in the show, you're gonna do everything to uh, the left-hand side. But we're not gonna worry about that right now. We're learning everything to the right. Something I do wanna point out now that TikTok is so popular, when you learn a dance from one of my tutorials, I'm gonna call out the steps and what side they're going to be on. I don't teach it in reverse, because I learned it going the right way, so I'm gonna teach you to do it the right way. TikTok dances, you learn it based on a mirrored image. That's not how you learn my dance tutorials. You're gonna follow the direction. So if I say, step onto your right foot with your right arms out, don't just mirror me, because then you'll be learning on your left, which is fine. That's totally fine if you wanna do it that way. If that's easier, that's okay. But I will try to remember, I don't usually do this, but now with the uh, popularity of TikTok. I will try to remember to do a few steps to the back as well because that is the correct side. If I step onto my right, you can mirror this and that's gonna be your right as well. That sounds confusing if you don't think about that, so don't worry about it, but if you are trying to learn it the correct way, listen to what I say, don't mirror what I do. Also, shout out to Blue because this source material is extremely hard to find. It is very difficult to find a performance to learn the choreography of all you want to do and she helped a sister out so thank you to blue once again let's get started I'm definitely gonna mess these lyrics up so I do apologize in advance so for the first part tell me what you need what you want you don't need to plead that's what we're gonna start with tell me what you need the girls are just getting information so you can just get information the way they do that is oh by the way I have a microphone um, I have a pocket on my leggings, pocket for snacks, woohoo! So I'm putting my microphone in there. Um, obviously, I don't have one of the cool mic holsters that they have. 
but if you have a mic and you can put it somewhere on your body, that'd be great. And if not, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. We only use it at the very, very end. It's not even for a dance step. It's just like the ending pose. If you are trying to get information and you're, you want to move across the stage like they do, they kind of do like a double step at a time and they go from the back to the front and their arms are just kind of up doing whatever. So it's like, uh, tell me what you need. We're, I'm just not going to start from that part. I'm going to start from the next part because I don't have that much space to move. So that's what you can do. Tell me what you need, what you want. So you're gonna go to your right first, to the left, and to the right. And your feet are staying still and they're kind of in a wider stance. Your arms are gonna go fist to the right, fist to the left, fist to the right. So that's what you want. You don't need to plead hand hand. So you're gonna be facing your right and you do sort of a body roll up leading with your head like that, and then your hands just go right, left. And that's kind of on a beat. It's like knee, to plead, bump, bump. So to the back, that looks like what you want. You don't need to plead, bump, bump. You end with your weight on your right leg, and your left leg is back. So that looks like, tell me what you need, what you want. You don't need to plead, bump, bump. Good. Now you're gonna go bounce with your hip. So what your hip is doing is your left hip is going down and up, down and up, down and up. And your hands that were just up are gonna go snap. So it's, I feel the chemistry, I think. So that step looks like body roll, bump bump, hip snap, hip snap, hip snap, hip snap. When your hip goes up, that's when you snap. When you're down, you're not snapping. Good, let's add that on together. So, what you want, you don't need to plead, bum bum. I feel we both agree, I think. I don't know what the lyrics are. So to the back, that looks like, what you want, you don't need to plead, bum bum. I feel we both agree. Next part is a little bit of a break. So you just did snap, 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 snap. If you have the space, let me move back a little so I can show you what the proper move is. You're gonna go right, cross left where you're facing forward. So it's not a side step, it's facing the forward but you're stepping with your right, left, right, left, right, left. Two spins. So right, left, right, left, right, left. You wanna end up facing the back. That made me very dizzy. Um, but I don't have that space so I'm gonna fake it a little. I'm gonna go snap, 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 right, left, right, left, right, left. Kind of just do it in place. Either way, we're all ending up facing the back. Cause I feel the chemistry, like I've got him and he gets me, okay? And maybe this is it. He just cares so much, it feels legit. Just stay standing facing the back. We have a connection. So if you have a real Katherine Howard who's singing this song, you're gonna put your hand on her shoulder and do a little like creepy finger thing, kind of like you're a villain, or like spider fingers onto her shoulder. If not, you're gonna pretend there's a shoulder in the air and just do it to the air. And that's a connection. And then you can drop it. I thought this guy was different. So it's kind of like the body roll we did before. You're gonna turn to face Captain Howard, wherever she is, and just roll up looking at her. And then, as you do that, Different, un. You're gonna spin out of that. So for me, I did, I'm leaning with my right leg on this, my left leg's in the back, right leg's forward. I'm gonna spin over my left shoulder to get to facing the front. If you're doing it on the other side, and you can do it this way, onto your left leg, you're gonna spin over your right shoulder. Let's add that to the top and just do that whole thing slow. If I can like feel the little hair clip extensions. <laughs> okay. So we are gonna go, tell me what you need, what you want, you don't need to plead, boom, boom. Cause I feel the chemistry, like I've got him and he gets me and maybe this is it. He just cares so much, he feels legit. We have a connection. I thought this guy was different. Spin. Good. Let's do that with music for real now.
now we're gonna do all you wanna do. Both arms up, all you one. So your hands are straight, and then they do two smaller movements to come back into your body, they go straight out again. All you wanna do. Good. All you wanna do, all you wanna do. So they're still up. Your head's gonna swing to the left, and so is your arm. Then your arm's gonna come and touch your left shoulder, and then come back to your straight out arms. So that looks like all you wanna do, all you wanna do, fave is. So you just did all you wanna do, all you wanna do, spin over your left shoulder, fave is. So touch me, love me. So you're gonna step a little bit to your right and step to your left. And each of the girls does this a little bit differently, but your hand's gonna come out very like, kind of like a snake arm, or kind of almost like, I don't know, I feel like I took a belly dancing class once and like the arms were very graceful like this and very flowing, like very snaky. And your hands can be kind of free because you want the fingers in there because like you want a creepy, not a creepy vibe, but a little bit creepy because like all these men are so creepy to her her whole life. So you're gonna step onto your right hip and then your left hip and your head goes with it. Touch me, love me, can't get enough. See, I said it with an accent. Can't get enough seat. You're gonna just pose with your hand out, stretching towards your audience. So in the back, we have one queen doing this. In the front, the two queens are on their knees doing it to different sides, and then the middle queens are doing it with just like standing straight, normal, um, with hands on different sides. You can do whatever you want for this pose, just when your hands extend it. Kind of like everyone's always reaching for this poor woman her whole life. She's not even a woman, she's a girl. She's 19 years old. So. Ah, uh, yeah, that goes. So just from that, all you want to do. All you want to do, all you want to do, babe, is touch me, love me, can't get enough C. Good. Let's, um, I'll do that to the back so you can see what that looks like here too. So all you want to do, all you want to do, babe, is, I <laughs> always forget this, touch me, love me, can't get enough C. Let's do just that part with music. Continuing, can't get enough C. This part is not on the lyrics, but it's on the beat instead. You're like this, so you're gonna go step together, shift your knees and hips to the right and then to the left and jump together again. So it's like jump, knee, knee, jump. Then you're gonna go bend your knees, knee, knee, up again, but now your hands are gonna come to the front of your chest and fists facing each other. That looks like jump, knee, knee, jump, down, knee, knee, jump. Let's play with the music so you can hear that part. Did you hear that? It's like... That's what it sounds like. So we're doing it on that. So jump, knee, knee, jump, down, knee, knee, jump. So the lyrics here are... I think they change for different verses, but in this verse they're please me, squeeze me, birds and the bees me. So you just land it like this with your fists facing each other. Your legs are going to stay still for the first step and your hands are going to kind of come in a, in a circle around your chest with like those weird fingers again. Kind of like, like you're slowly doing this, but like one finger at a time. Please me, squeeze me. You can't see my feet for that. Let me move the camera. So ignore like all the wires. I've been working from home and it's quite difficult. Uh, please me, squeeze me. So, please me, squeeze me. Your hands can stay there. I kind of bring them out a little bit, I think, when I do it. Your right, hip, your right foot's going to go weight on your heel. Left foot's going to go weight on your toe, like that. So, your right toe is up and your left heel is up. And both your feet are facing your right side. So, please me, squeeze me. I'm just going to stay focused on my feet. Jump, knee, knee. Jump, knee, 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 jump, please me, squeeze me. Good, I'm gonna move the camera back up so you can see what our body's doing for the next part. Let's try that from the jumping part. So jump, knee, knee, jump, down, knee, knee, jump, squeeze me, please me. For birds and the bees me, you're just gonna turn to face the back and bees me. So it's bees is just a fist with your left hand 
and then that left hand is going to extend with those weird fingers again, reaching for Catherine's shoulder. So that looks like please me, squeeze me, birds and the bees me. Good. We're actually almost on the dance. Let's do them all you want to do. The first all you want to do, and then I'll do a piece in the back. All you want to do, all you want to do, babe, is touch me, love me, can't get enough. See, jump, knee, knee, jump, down, knee, knee, jump, squeeze me, please me, birds and the bees me. Good. Now I'm going to do a facing the back. So, again, this is if you learn better from a teacher who's in front of you. It'd be great if I had a dance mirror, then we could do it this way the whole time, but I don't. I just have a refrigerator that is not reflective. So, we're going to do... All you want to do, all you want to do, babe, is touch me, love me, can't get enough, see, jump, knee, knee, jump, down, knee, knee, jump, squeeze me, please me, birds and the, ah, this is weird to do backwards, squeeze me, please me, birds and the bees me, sorry, that was really weird because I'm used to doing it face in the front. Let's do that part with music and then we'll do it from the top with music and slow. Good job guys! Oh this is a fun dance. I really like it. Let's do it slow from the top. Tell me what you need, what you want, you don't need to plead bump up. I feel the chemistry I got you and you get me and maybe this is it. He just cares so much, this feels legit. We have a connection. I thought this guy was different. Cause all you wanna do, all you wanna do, babe, is touch me, love me, can't get enough, see. All you wanna do, all you wanna do, babe, is please me. Squeeze me, birds and the bees me. Ah! Let's do music! just recorded this for a few minutes and guess what I never hit record yay so we're gonna do this again birds and the bees me your left hand is out that's gonna be on your K Howard's shoulder or if you're like me you're just dancing by yourself it's just gonna be in the air and you're gonna pretend K Howard's there your arms are out like this basically they're doing this move the whole time but the first two times it's just your right arm and then the next four times it's your right and your left together right right both both, both, both. We are doing this six times. Now the first two times, your left arm is out on Catherine's shoulder. So you're going right, right. At the same time, you're kicking that right leg back behind your left. So it looks like right, right. Good. Now the next four, when you use your hands together, we're gonna do that same move to turn your body around. So we're looking like right, right, both, 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 both. It's a little weird, right? So do it without the arms first, even though the arms actually, I think, make it easier. So kick, 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 kick. It's really weird without the arms. The arms make it a lot better and kind of propel you a bit. You get a bit of momentum boost from those arms. So right, right, together, 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 together. Good, now if, you're, if you want to do one version where you're learning like me facing the back, like we've been doing, this is gonna be a little weird because since I start facing the back on this move, I'm gonna start facing the front. So we just did birds and the bees, me, right, right, together, 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 together. And that's the last move. So it's 
Run your fingers through my hair. Tell me I'm the fairest of the fair. You're just going to move into a little formation. That's when you pull your mic out. Play time's over. The only thing you want to do is, okay, but we don't do that part. We just stand in the background again. And Catherine takes a sound. Good job. So that's really the whole dance. Let's take that slow from all you want to do. Let's do it from there. All you want to do, all you want to do, babe, is touch me, love me, can't get enough. See, jump, knee, knee, jump, down, knee, knee, together, squeeze me, please me, birds and the bees me. Play time's over. I forgot the lyrics, so that's what you got instead. That's it. That's the dance. Let's do that part from Birds and the Bees Me so you can see the little kick thing with the music. Let's do it from All You Want to Do with music. We'll add on a bit. Good job, let's do it um, from the top with music. Yeah, and then I'll show you the alterations. Tell me what you need, what you want, you don't need to plead. Cause I feel the chemistry, like I get you and you get me. And maybe this is it, he just cares so much, it feels legit. We have a connection, I think this guy for yourself. So this version is just a little sadder, a little bit creepier. So usually there's just the two people putting their hands on their shoulders for a connection. This part, everyone, all five queens, go around Catherine and put a hand on her. So the two in the front can go low, two in the middle can go by her shoulder, the one in the back can go around her shoulders as well. And it's a connection. I thought this guy was different. Why did I think it was different? So that a second hand comes on. So 10 hands are on this poor, poor girl. So uh, we have a connection, everyone's touching. I thought this guy was different. What, why did I think it was different? But it's never, ever. So the first side drops on never and the other side drops on ever. So. A connection, everyone's hands, thought this guy was different, why did I think it was different, but it's never, ever, 
different. And then they go into the same dance. All you want to do, all you want to do, the whole thing. But then they do it a little bit. They go, please me, or they go, uh, whatever it is, squeeze me. And instead of doing this part, they just move around to get closer to Catherine again. Don't care if you don't please me. And you're going to put your hands on her and please me. And then he goes, bite my lip and pull my hair as you tell me I'm the fairest of the fair. So everyone's hands keep going on her and she keeps trying to get the hands off, but they keep coming back and it's four times. So it's like, uh, jump me, me together, squeeze me, don't care if you don't please me, bite my lip and pull my hair as you tell me I'm the fairest of the fair. That's the only difference. So that is it. That is the entire dance. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a fun one to learn, but it does make me so sad, but it's so good. What a great song. What a great number. Such great queens are also talented. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for requesting. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have videos and you're uploading them to YouTube or TikTok or something, tag me at Sheila Watko. I would love to see them. I would really love, I love when people tag me in their dances. It makes me happy that they were able to learn something from my videos and uh, get a fun little workout and learn a dance. Learning dance is so much fun. I've learned so many dances during quarantine. It makes me feel somewhat productive too. So thank you so much. If you have other requests, write them in the comments below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.